So this video is going to go through how you can create a discussion in your class, um, in your Schoology course. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to log into Schoology and then go up to your courses drop down menu and then choose the course that you want that discussion to go into. If you want it, if you want to copy that discussion into so that it's occurring in different courses you can do that and I'll show you how to do that when we we get down to the specifics of it but choose one course that that discussion is going to fall into so I'm going to choose math skills section one then from there you're going to choose where you want that discussion to be placed I already have a folder of lessons um, if I if I just want it to go at the end of that folder I can go to that add materials from the drop down menu and choose discussion from there or if I want it let's say I want it to go in between my math vocabulary assignment and my unit one quiz I can um, hover my mouse in between those two and I get a, a plus with a green dotted line and that's where it will fall and that's where I want it to go so I'm going to hit that and I get a drop down menu um, again and I'm going to choose add discussion from the add discussion, I'm going to get a title. Um, for I'm going to get a, a box that comes up that will let me title it, put a description, and so on. So, of course, the title, you want it to be the title of your discussion. In the description, this is where you want your discussion prompt to be. Now what I can also do is I have a menu up at the top of the description. This is where I can add, of course, some of those font things like bold and italics. But one thing that could be very useful is this insert content drop down menu. And from there, if you're a math teacher, this is where your equation editor is going to be, where you can type up more complex math problems math equations but this is also where if you wanted to put in a picture or a video and have that be a discussion starter or kind of a res uh, gather responses and have a discussion this is where you can pop that in as well then choose a due date if you want there to be a due date which I highly recommend and then you can choose to enable grading or not if students are going to be um, graded based off of that. Um, and then once you choose that, it will go into your grade book. And um, once you have your grade book set up, you can choose to, to where that grade would go. Now before you hit create, um, you'll notice down here below there's some different icons here. The only one that's lit up or that's colored is the green one, which means visible to students. So if you're preparing this, this is going to be something that you want to assign them in the future. You can hit that and it will gray out and then it won't be visible to students. And then you can go in and you can make it visible to them when you're ready for it. Some of the other choices that are down here too that are grayed out, but you can toggle them on by selecting them is this individually assigned. So if you want to individually assign it to one student or to a group of students, you can do that by toggling that one on and then a little box will pop up having you select the students that you would choose for that. Align learning object objectives um, includes right now the common core standards, so not um, and, but there will be some ability in the future where if you have your own um, ELOs or whatnot, you can import those in there and then align them there. And then lock means that you'll lock it so that the settings can't be changed until they're unlocked. To the right of the um, green circle that makes it visible to students is one that's really, really helpful. And that one is that members can see other responses before participating. That's automatically off um, and 
Um, so, and most of the time, I recommend that you keep that off just because, um, at least to, to start out with, you can have people, um, for this initial discussion, people can add their part um, with, without seeing what other people think. So there isn't this, I'm following what somebody else is, has commented on or said, or I'm copying what somebody else has has already said. Once they do their initial comment and people comment to that, then they're able to have that kind of back and forth discussion. If that's not, if it's, if it's fine that um, student, students see what other students have commented on, then you can toggle that on and um, then they'll be able to see what other people have posted before they go and post their own. Then there's a shared discussion. So if you want to share this discussion so it's in between a couple of classes, that's what you would use this one for. And then the other one is copy to courses. So if you want this discussion and you want it to take place in your two or three other classes, this is where you can easily copy that without having to go in and add that discussion to each course. So I like it just the way it is, so I'm going to hit Create. And now that discussion is ready for students to start participating in.